V180's word for today. Helping you live different every day. This voyage will end with disaster and much loss. Acts chapter 27 verse 10. Paul told everyone on board the ship bound for Rome, Men, I perceive that this voyage will end with disaster and much loss, not only for the cargo and the ship, but also our lives. One author writes, Paul didn't talk about a little skirmish, a little loss. This voyage would be beset with disasters, much loss even to their lives. To Paul, this journey meant eventual martyrdom. However, Paul would not die until his mission was completed, until he would strike a fatal blow at the heart of the Roman Empire, its political genius, military supremacy, pride and pomp. When Paul walked into Rome with the gospel, hell shook and all of heaven rejoiced. We are all beneficiaries because that little battle-scarred man with a chain around his ankle started to convert many in Rome and gave us the books of Ephesians, Colossians, Philippians, Philemon, as well as many more, while he was the prisoner of Jesus Christ. These phrases from Acts chapter 27 verse 4 to 10 bring this journey more to life. The winds were contrary. We sailed slowly, passing with difficulty. Sailing was now dangerous. Temperous winds arose. We secured the skiff with difficulty. We used cables to undergird the ship. Exceedingly tempest tossed. We threw the ship's tackle overboard. Neither sun nor stars appeared for many days. All hope that we would get saved was given up. The stern was broken up. The destination is within reach, but not without much loss. Thank God that that's not the end of the story. But the centurion, wanting to save Paul, commanded that those who could swim should jump overboard first and get to land, and the rest on the parts of the ship escaped safely to the land. When you keep your eyes on Jesus... You will make it in spite of the storm, guaranteed. The word for today, as featured in V180 magazine. Subscribe today at v180.org.au. V180. V180.